So I got a lot of responses on my video. Uh, is it wise to go all in where I share that I'm planning to do that? Um, a lot of longtime followers uh, are uh, warning me not to do that. And um, I will try to make the case why I do think it's a, a wise decision. But first I'd like to read one comment that really stands out for me from Christian Cool. Um, great video, Mark. Uh, I respect all you have accomplished and admire your passion and courage uh, to invest in crypto. However, I don't think uh, it is smart to go all into crypto. You can go most in and still achieve your objectives. Many say that uh, you can go 80, 90%. What's the difference going 100% or 80%? Uh, like you will make as much money or uh, almost as much, but if it fails, you still have that very, very valuable 10 to 20% left to, uh, well, get back up. Uh, so that's a good point. Um, so don't risk everything. Playing the risk reward can be dangerous if not combined with probabilities, he says. Um, the likelihood of crypto going to zero is still much higher than most other asset classes. There is a ton of research showing that being grateful for what you have, as opposed to what you could have, is the main contributor to happiness and even long, long, longevity. Uh, you seemed very happy when you told about your baby in the prior video. Every day I'm grateful for being a father, much more so than for the crypto I have in my wallet. Uh, and I think that's a great point. Um, uh, 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 this is also uh, many other followers uh, and commenters also say that, like, yeah, when you're later in life, um, you 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 you, it's much harder uh, to make back the money that you pro possibly will lose. Uh, and um, these people that go all in in their companies are usually young people that don't have much to lose, like if it fails they can like rebuild it very quickly but if you fail and lose everything you've built up for uh, the past decades uh, it's gonna take you a lot longer and also you have responsibilities now a baby uh, so of course um, this um, what you're gonna do if you lose it all very good points um, and, um, and, and of course it's true that the likelihood for a crypto to fail or to go to zero is much higher than for gold, to, for example, uh, to go to zero or for a stock index to go to zero. Uh, of course, that's the probability is indeed much higher with, uh, with, uh, with crypto. So, so that's all true. Um, but um, I, I'm, I'm still convinced it's the right choice to make for me and of course this is a personal decision uh, you really have to invest according to what feels right to you and what you're comfortable with you should never um, never invest beyond your uh, um, um, level of comfort uh, I think uh, because it's just that the markets are so uh, tricky that they will for sure uh, go the other direction than you are hoping and 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 if you went uh, if you over invested well, uh, you are very likely to make these big mistakes uh, of uh, selling um, on a panic sell or, or just be becoming afraid and or becoming irresponsible and saving whatever you can save at the worst possible time. So over-investing is never smart. Uh, and, and so you should really, f basically, uh, yeah, investing is a, uh, is a lot about education and, 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 uh, and, and, and building up uh, confidence and knowledge and, and only the, you should also invest in cor according to the levels that you have uh, achieved and not over invest because someone else is doing it because you don't have the the, the foundation to do so and so uh, someone else may succeed where you might fail huh? so um, but for me uh, I, I'm just sharing like why I feel it's right for me so last bull market I invested 80% into crypto and I still had this mentality that most of my followers also have now today is that you should at least keep some at this on the side because you never know uh, and that's also what I thought uh, and, um, and and so what I did was um, I felt like I invested a lot eh? so the moment the market started to go up I started diversifying quite quickly um, um, it went from 200 to 400 US dollars or 600 or 500 years old, and I already started to diversify uh, some uh, crypto into other investments. Those ha that have been following me, for example, remember that I also invest in a startup uh, at the time uh, with a, a, a piece of my crypto uh, um, and um, did some other stuff, uh, invest again in some gold. 
And, and I continue to do that the whole way up, um, uh, just locking in some profits into fiat. Um, and um, uh, why am I so attracted now to go all in? Because I don't want to do that again. Uh, the problem with this strategy for me was that I, I was continuing to build up security by um, uh, and maximize, try to maximize profits by following the market intensively uh, the, uh, when it comes to prices, trying to predict it. Uh, my YouTube channel was all about that. And, um, and, um, and in the end, my returns are a lot lower uh, than someone that went all in. Um, like, for example, uh, Taizen, if you know his channel, uh, cryptocurrency channel, went all in crypto, but also stayed all in the whole way up. Huh? And, 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 and this is... A, a, Going all in is not about that you allocate 100%. That's the first big move that will, of course, bring you more profitability than going only 80% in. But the biggest difference is made that you stay all in on the way up because it's 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 you you, you really underestimate always how high it will go, and so you end up selling way too soon. Um, your coins. Some coins are sold like before it does, after it will still do 10x or 100x. That's what happened to me. <laughs> um, the NXT, for example, that I diversified into a startup. I remember that was uh, 10 million NXT and it was valued at about 100,000 US dollars. Well, after that, the 10 million NXT went up to a value of 20 million. US dollars, but I diversified them into investment for a value of hundred thousand dollars, and only one year later they went up to twenty million US dollars. So that's crazy, huh? uh, and, uh, and but that's what happens when you diversify crypto. Uh, if it doubles or triples, and you already start diversifying into other investments, yeah. Well, the, the the opportunity cost, the missed opportunity cost, is huge, and this will also show in your returns, of course. So having the discipline or the strategy to stay all in uh, is a very good strategy. Of course, the price is paid much later when you reach that peak and you also stay all in at the top and then you go down. Well, we just saw what happens then and it's good by 10 again. So that's where you make huge losses. But um, the profits that you will make before really make that not a problem because whereas like if you use this like... Um, uh, diversification strategy to lock in profits let's say you will do if you do it very well 10x with your portfolio but if you don't do that and you just stay all in into crypto you can switch between crypto projects yes but you stay in crypto you will do 100x with your portfolio that's a big difference huh? so if after that you lose uh, 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 you're cut by 10 but you first did 100x well you're still up 10x huh? uh, and and so um, that's one thing. Mm, of course, I'm not addressing uh, the issues here. Um, why I think it's justified to go all in? Because uh, it's, 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 it's exactly the same as deciding, uh, let's say we're at, uh, in December 2040, uh, just uh, one year ago when I was making the video that I think we reached the top. And let's say I would say then that I decide to go all out of crypto. Huh? Many people would have said, like, yeah, that's not a good time, we're going to go much higher, yes. But nobody would say that I'm unresponsible or that I'm unwise huh? uh, or that I'm, uh, um, uh, like, uh, uh, like, it would could be considered as a very, very responsible move to go all out then. Um, but actually, it's equally unresponsible to go all out then than to go all in now. But actually, it will. I will show to you that it's actually not uh, under, uh, not that is actually it is responsible. So wh why do I? For me, it's it's justified to go all in because. Okay, I think the probabilities for crypto to go up is like, let's say, ninety percent from current valuations. So I think that, 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 that most people will agree then that it's justified 
if you really believe that, to invest 90%. If you think that that's like a probability of 90%, it will go up a lot, and you don't have any other investments where you see that, then it is justified, at least if you follow the Kelly criterion, to also invest uh, very big into that, uh, and very, with a very large allocation. Uh, um, and so that would be like 90% in this case. So, but um, this, but why do I want to go 100%? Because of the extra cost that the 10% leaves here. The 10% is a huge cost, uh, not so much in missed opportunity financially, but in just the energy it takes from me to be to continue to be busy with that. Huh? Uh, because that 10% has to be invested too, and it cannot be in crypto. So I need to be busy with, well, you saw the videos that I was busy with, uh, trying to invest in non-crypto markets, it takes time too. Um, and this uh, is a cost. Uh, that I would like to avoid, to pay. Uh, be <clears throat> um, but it's more than that. If you keep this discipline uh, of indeed having a piece of your money into fiat, it will become also a bigger problem over time. Because let's say I'm successful, it goes up a lot. There will come a time where I have to say, ah, like now, my, now my, fiat, my fiat is only 1% or 2% of my capital. I really need to. Uh, boosted up eh, to, to continue to have a piece of my capital that will protect me and so I have to boost it up again to 10% and have a new fiat investment problem to deal with. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I think it's actually a very big problem. Uh, I, I have just been studying these markets again. Uh, buying these assets is uh, very actually difficult. Uh, for example, interactive brokers I'm using this platform is very unuser friendly um, and of course you can choose more user friendly brokers but then you pay very high fees uh, so it all requires uh, quite some study to do these things and investors that invest in the traditional fiat markets also have lots of communities on the internet where you see that people also put a lot of time into that uh, so I will also have to put uh, time into that hmm. In my case, the portfolio I was building was a mixture of gold and gold mining stocks following uh, Roland Van Damme, Analyse.be's portfolio, which requires me to read newsletters every two weeks, uh, study the new positions he takes in to copy them, uh, as well as uh, manage then what I was also setting up was a, a permanent portfolio, but um, actually I was more setting up a value portfolio where it was a mixture of gold, but also actually the gold part was this Roland Van Damme portfolio, and then the stocks part, I was setting up a mixture of emerging market stocks. And then it's also like, I'm a value investor, so I need to study these things. I don't want to like just do a, a permanent portfolio with equal share. No, I want to invest like so that the best risk reward ratio has the highest exposure. This all is the way I invest, but it all requires time. So if I decide to not go all in, I do have to do all that. And continue to do all that and continue to follow up all that and continue to build out that portfolio. Um, and um, yeah, I, I don't want to pay that uh, price because that energy goes lost to uh, like I want to transfer that energy into another activity which, which is helping to build out these coins. So if I go all in then I can really focus on just a few coins, maybe only Bitcoin Cash next year, and then maybe after I can focus again on Byteball and maybe Bismuth, or maybe kick a coin out and replace it with another coin if I don't like it, how the projects are going. But I can limit my uh, attention to only a few projects, <coughs> and I can start really focusing on helping these projects become successful. That's what I really want to do. And if you look at who does that now in the crypto markets um, successfully, uh, well, not so many people, but Roger Ver really stands out and has inspired me also because he is the first one that ever did that, go all in into crypto uh, and had some amount of capital um, when he entered crypto in 2011. Mm. And 
Since then, he has really focused on uh, marketing uh, the coin, like evangelizing it. And <clears throat> this, uh, yeah, this has been extremely profitable for him, but also extremely um, um, effective. Uh, uh, the, the amount of work that he has achieved, the amount of evangelism that he has achieved, uh, and the amount of uh, usage, utility that he has given to these coins by using it uh, left and right every day, um, <clears throat> is tremendous. Uh, and um, and he could never have done that if he would have like a piece of his portfolio invested still in fiat markets. Um, so so, but um, like yeah, because there is a great value in cleaning up things. Uh, uh, let, let's turn things around. Let's say that. I, I want to um, exit crypto and I want to exit at the top and at December when I made the video uh, uh, that I think we have a top here, I also shared that uh, I went to a, a, a minority a crypto, I still have 10-20% in because you never know it can go up, that's what a, a rational investor would do, but let's say that I say then like, uh, uh, actually, even though it can go up more, I really want to leave this market, and so I'm going to not sell 80%, but I'm going to sell 100%, I'm going full, fully out, because even though it can go up more, I really want to start focusing on uh, the other investments, and I really want to like clean up my uh, crypto uh, um, uh, holdings and, and just get out fully, so that I can focus on my new investments. Everybody would say like, okay, makes sense. Eh? Uh, it's not irresponsible. But actually, it's equally irresponsible because you never know how high something can go, and uh, so you should actually leave like 10 or 20 percent in. Um, and so, um, but everybody would understand, like, yes, uh, actually, it's good to go. I understand because he really wants to focus on something else. And of course, it does take energy to leave a certain amount of money in the market. And okay, worst case, he misses some profits there, but uh, uh, probably will make up for that by uh, focusing on his new uh, activity in life. It's the same here, but in the other way around. I find that um, 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 uh, uh, if you want to live the fiat lifestyle as well as the crypto lifestyle, it requires a lot of energy, uh, and I just don't have that energy. So if I decide now to go instead of 80 or 90 percent to crypto, 100 percent, it really like uh, it's really a switch out of a system from the fiat system, which has involves banks, uh, uh, brokers, uh, brokerages, uh, study of these uh, markets, uh, uh, and study of these uh, uh, banks, and if you can just say like you know what fuck all that i'm just out and i never come back that makes life a lot easier eh? because okay uh it means that you can just empty all your accounts there and basically close them all and and you go to crypto and then you can focus on crypto which is just a huge talk, task on itself also like uh, securing crypto is a lot of work um every coin has some different system um Keeping on top of what happens in every coin, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, and, and if you don't want to also build it, help really uh, like build it out, uh, it's a, a full-time job, even if you only do one coin. So, 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 so <clears throat> but you can do that if you indeed like leave the old system, you have much more energy and time to do that. Uh, but if you are still hooked up in the old system, it will require time for you too. And, and the, the question is, of course, is it worthwhile here? Eh? And I don't think it's worthwhile to stay hooked into the old system. I really don't. Um, it's true, uh, as Christian Kuhl says, that the chance for crypto to go down to zero is much higher than the chance for stock indexes or gold to go down to zero. That's true, but how high is it? Because in my opinion, it's, well, let's say that the chance for crypto to go to zero is maybe like 1%, whereas for gold, it's like 0.0001%. It's much lower, it's true, but it's already low for crypto also. Like, crypto, the chance that crypto will fail is very, very low. Um, why? Because it... It's, it's the same as saying that uh, cars will fail. Yeah, in the beginning, cars were slow, and some were even slower than a horse. Eh? Uh, 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 so, but you could clearly see that that's the future, because it's so much better. And over time, it will go much faster than a horse and much more easier to maintain. Or the same with the internet. Like, yeah, in the beginning, it was very user-friendly. That's true. But 
uh, for someone who uses his brain and looks at what, what, what like at history, uh, he can clearly see that actually the internet sooner or later will become very big. Uh, uh, what you just need is bet better, uh, more user-friendly um, applications uh, or, or websites and, uh, and, and websites that actually can really improve your life, that make life easier than the brick and mortar life. Uh, but that will all come over time. It's the same with cryptocurrency. Um, <clears throat> so, 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 so it's very clear. That of course, you can have great innovations in cryptocurrency that may wipe out the competition. That's true. Huh? Uh, uh, so, 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 betting on a single coin is much more risky than betting on the whole crypto market. That's true, um, uh, but it, I think most people can agree that yes, chance for cryptocurrency, the whole market, to go up a lot in value uh, over the next 10, 20 years is uh, compared to these uh, traditional markets. Is the chances for that is extremely high. It's like 90% sure this will happen, eh? uh, and in my opinion. I would say 99% sure right, that it will happen. Of course, which coins, that's, that's much more difficult, but the, this market in general, yes. Huh? So, so, <clears throat> so <clears throat> that's how I also invest then. Uh, and, and then uh, indeed, I think it's worthwhile for me to uh, indeed take that extra step, which you could call the irrati irrational step, where you say like, no, like even though you say it's like 90% chance, you, you, you don't go 90, you go 100%. And so that 10% chance that you fail, you're actually not hedging against, eh? and that's something I'm willing to do. And uh, but I would not call it ten percent; I would call it maybe one percent. Um, but yeah, it just feels uh, right to me. Um, then, of course, you could give the criti criticism that yeah, but you're gonna you're going in on one coin. Um, so that's uh, uh, even more risky, like what is the chance that your coin that you select, uh, Bitcoin Cash will be, uh, the, uh, like will do well, like within the industry some will really fail. So, so betting everything on that is, is totally irresponsible. Mm. And I would say to that that, um, of course I'm not doing that fully, it's not 100%, but it's like Right now, if my crypto portfolio is in the 90% or 95% Bitcoin cash and only 5 or 10% other coins, that's true. Uh, but that's just given the market situation, that's not a static thing. Over time, I plan to change that. Um, if Bitcoin cash is successful and goes up to, uh, compared to other coins, I will diversify some into other crypto projects. Um, but also, I think that it's the same as saying uh, someone who says like, yeah, uh, I'm going all in on this internet uh, thing in 1995, uh, and then he's betting out on one company. Uh, is that irresponsible? Well, actually, um, in the first phases of the market, go up a lot. Uh, that's just typical from a, for a, for for a, for a new economy. Uh, that's uh, pre-mass uh, adoption uh, and, and that's uh, very likely it will go towards mass adoption you will very likely get a bubble where everything goes up in value even the things that are actually losers and will end up losing the market completely um, and, and I do think that we're, it's just a given that the adoption in, in, in cryptocurrency has gone up a lot uh, in uh, 2017 uh, maybe 5 to 10 percent uh, of people have invested in it but over time, it will become much, much, much higher, uh, um, and um, and so uh, we're still in, in in early adopter phase here, and uh, and so yeah, we will get um, uh, the masses join sooner or later, and uh, massive bubbles where everything will go up, uh, even the losers. So so I think it's not yet um, um, uh, irresponsible to bet on only one uh, coin big. And the most important thing I think uh, to say here is that, well, the people that really made it big in crypto went all in. That's what I have seen. I've seen certain people go all in and um, and stay all in. And the returns they made was much, much, much higher. They built from nothing uh, or five or ten thousand. Uh, they became millionaire. Uh, and uh, and uh, I think that's very admirable. Um, uh, and they all focused heavily uh, on a certain coin, um, with the exception then of Taizen, who, who indeed uh, has a very diversified portfolio. Uh, 
uh, it's a different strategy. But uh, yeah, the people that really made from, I have the, the massive returns, that's what they did. And that also contributed the most to the cryptocurrency industry or the, to that certain coin that they uh, select, all went all in. And so um, that's that's what I've seen and that's what I started wanting to do too. Mm. And yeah, um, I, I do think it is um, responsible, but only if you are ready to do, so, if you feel ready to do something like that. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, it made a little bit more sense um, where I'm coming from and uh, thank you all for warning me. I really appreciate that very much. Uh, like sometimes um, I do, uh, like it can be very helpful to have a friend uh, say uh, when they disagree uh, on a certain action you take and that's how I feel with many people of you and I really appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be very stubborn on this one and uh, do it. Bye. So I was wrong in my previous video about my estimation of half a billion. Um, um, I had like how, how much money did I help you make or avoid you losing. Um, I think it's it's realistic to have to estimate that the amount of money that my followers made was between 50 and 100 million over the past few years. Huh? Uh, and at this point in time uh, and I think that's okay uh, but um, it can go up a lot and I hope it goes up a lot um, and yeah so how, 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 how can we accomplish that uh, I think um, uh, the most important thing is the amount of money you invest in crypto that will make the biggest difference uh, and for me that will be 100% uh, and I can strongly recommend to you to do that too. Um, even though many people say that's crazy, I think that's absolutely justified uh, because the chances that crypto succeeds is indeed like 99% certain. Huh? Uh, crypto is uh, just, uh, it's not even, an, it's not a new asset class actually, it just belongs to the asset class of currencies, but currencies have been highly monopolized uh, by governments and 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 were like com uh, communist uh, communism one was uh, at the time in Soviet Russia and in China where there was only one state company uh, to 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 run restaurants and one state company to run uh, oil and uh, one state company to run uh, the swimming pools like um, and it was always a, never a for profit enterprise it and so it was pure, purely a, a, a bureaucracy of, of, of politicians and, 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 and uh, bureaucrats uh, running it. It was a disaster that led to great poverty. But it's the same with the currency system that we have still today. The euro, the US dollar are just communist uh, currency systems run by the government, not for profit based. And, and totally um, uh, very, very uh, poor offerings where you actually lose a lot of money if you hold that uh, currency. Uh, you, you lose about 5% per year in purchasing power, that's tremendous. Um, and, 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 and there are so many other weaknesses about it, it's so obvious, uh, like a paper currency is not of this time, it's dirty, it's impractical, uh, it should all along be digital, but digi digital needs to be practical and uh, and of course uh, if you have digital fiat currencies it's still a, a state currency. Uh, even if it's run by banks and, and you hold your your money with banks, uh, then still it's uh, a fiat backed by fiat that goes down tremendously uh, every year, uh, and and the banking system also suffers from uh, uh, terrible regulations that make it a uh, very um, um, yeah unattractive offerings. So 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 this market has totally uh, broke been broken open thanks to Bitcoin was the first one but today there are like 2000 cryptocurrencies already after 10 years uh, so so this market is really exploding open and 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 that's here to stay that's that's like 99% certain there is one only 1% or less that that, that that this 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 trend can be broken uh, and and I think that if you would be had have a severe clampdown by governments uh, that's one scenario where um, where cryptocurrency could be set back for a couple of decades but it will still continue to exist but only in a few like minor um, offshore uh, paradises maybe 
and in the dark markets in the west um, and the east uh, but of course the value would get a serious beating that's still possible but very unlikely because governments are not uh, uh, even though they are monopolies within their own borders they are competing with each other um, strongly huh? uh, and, um, and Europe is a monopoly uh, uh, the, the new European Union but they are competing strongly with the United States and many others uh, and so uh, they all want a piece of that pie so it's very unlikely that they're all gonna get together and say like let, let, let's ban this thing and let's fight this thing now like that's very unlikely and if that happens uh, you can still exit crypto even though you will probably have taken some serious losses huh? but uh, but that's the only scenario so also so it's it's extremely likely that it will go up a lot in value and will um, very quickly become much more valuable than fiat currencies and so the upward potential is, is still tremendous so that's why i think it's totally justified to during this bear market go all in but uh, uh, that's one uh, that's one thing that can make a big difference the, the next thing is to stay all in i lost so much uh, opportunity by by, 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 by diversifying my profits very quickly away into uh, fiat investments. And fiat investments is everything except cri uh, crypto. That's For me, that's like the old investment world of real estate, stocks, gold, bank accounts, bonds. I call that fiat investments. Eh? Uh, but even cars and, 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 and homes, like uh, all these things are fiat investments. It's like it's, it's people do it to, to have some kind of feeling of security because they ex experience crypto as, uh, as very risky. But these are extremely costly diversifications because you tend to do them way too soon. Huh? Uh, and so your, your missed opportunity or your, uh, is tremendous. So this I can, I'm not going to do anymore. I will stay invested fully. Huh? And for how long? Well, forever. Huh? So, uh, and that's a great, uh, great advantage. Um, if you want to stay invested fully but only till the top, you all will constantly be busy, but have you reached your top or not? And and it's I've been I've done this for two cycles now, and and this is the third cycle I'm starting, and and every time I was wrong, sometimes seriously, eh? temporarily, always temporarily, but I have been always wrong temporarily, and and due to that salt crypto later I bought back in, but but there is always missed opportunity there, uh, but especially it's like. It just keeps you busy so much you can't really do much else and and it's much more profitable to stay fully invested uh, until the top but even after if you count your time too uh, because uh, you will have an 100x if you are fully invested from bottom till top you have a 100x and you can even have a thousand x and 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 after that it will be cut by 10 but if you have a 100x and it's good by 10, you still have a 10x left. Huh? Um, so, uh, uh, but you can improve that by also starting to use the currency. Huh? So this is like a much better strategy to make profits and to help the currencies. Instead of trying to diversify away into fiat profits, what you do is you start using the currency. And, 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 and of course, as, as the market goes up, if this is your only way to diversify by using the currency then well you're going to be really motivated to do that and start really using it to pay for as much as possible to pay for your rent for your cars for your homes for for, for your uh, goods for your books for for like everything you need you're really going to try to make an effort to spend the crypto and um and 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 and, and yeah that's that's just the best way and then there's the uh, fooling yourself like if you have this uh, uh, there's you have to play these kind of mind tricks uh, that I always do and that is like you have to you have this attitude okay I'm never gonna sell I'm gonna only spend crypto but of course if it becomes absolutely crazy and you do have that 100x then of course you can change your mind and you can say like okay let's diversify let's let, let, let's diversify 20% or 50% of my portfolio into fiat investments because it's absolutely going crazy now you can still do that but you're only gonna consider that when things are abs have absolutely gone crazy and it's not a problem if you missed out on that huh? uh, like it's not important it's not how you're gonna make your money huh? 
The way you make your money is by switching from the old system to the new system and never look back. Huh? That doesn't mean you, you can't look back. Uh, you, you can, and you can always change your mind, and, and, and maybe, maybe I will do that too. Uh, but um, but it, the next bull cycle will take, like the last one took three years, the next one will take four and a half years to five years, that's a very long time. If you have to be all the time busy with, huh, should I sell some to diversify, it's just a total waste of time. It's much better to focus on building your uh, the current, your favorite currency, uh, pick, pick them and help build them and make some more uh, crypto uh, and stash it. That's how you make real money. And, uh, and that's what you do for five years. Uh, and maybe after four years, uh, when the market is again in like crazy things, okay, you can change your mind and say, okay, okay, let's 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 diversify some way. Huh? And, and that way, you go from like 100x, not back to 10x, but maybe you go back to 20x or 30x huh? because you did diversify some way, uh, but you didn't waste so much time on it. So I think this, in summary, is, uh, are all very good uh, advices. And then, of course, you have also like which currencies you're gonna pick, and that's th that, that's the most difficult. Uh, I think you can just do an index, um, uh, but for me personally, I believe like simplicity is beauty, and and I do think that um, uh, when it comes to business and investments, uh, it's much wiser to pick one or two things that you really love, uh, investments or businesses. And I really focus on that. I focus on building it that out. That's how, 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 how the richest people in the world uh, became rich. It's always to focus on one business and, and, and build that out. It's the same in cryptocurrencies. The, the people that got rich in there, they, 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 for the most part, have focused on one coin and really uh, built it out and, and made more uh, currency and, and, and stashed it. Um, so, 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 so I do think it's important, actually, instead of taking an index to take your coin, uh, your favorite coin, I really focus on that uh, and, and maybe take two, maximum three. I think that's a good strategy. Um, and especially preparing for the period after also, like uh, after this, there will be a tremendous bear market and, and, and maybe the, and probably the biggest one ever. This one will be bigger as the previous one, but the next one will be bigger as this one. Uh, and so uh, that bear market will take a very long time and and may really like flush out uh, a little bit like the dot com bust uh, really um, separate um, uh, the good from the bad and so I think it's important during this bull market to really select those coins and focus on those coins that you really believe have a long term future are able to get real adoption and and will be there for in 10 years and 20 years huh? uh, so that you can really like hold these coins during the next bubble and don't have to be afraid that hmm, if I don't sell maybe in the next bear market this thing will die so it's extremely important that I do sell on the high that that kind of stress you shouldn't have and, and you won't have it if you're having if you invested and are part of a coin that you see that is really growing in adoption my love would you like to say something? No. No. <laughs> no. No. Did you did you listen to to the the video? Hmm? Did you listen to all my intelligent uh, advice? Yeah. And <laughs> what did you think of it? I understood nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So yeah, let's say bye then. Eh? Bye bye. 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 <laughs>